Hello baby cakes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I co-wash my human hair bundles and I'll be using the hair from my last video, the OMG Queen hair. So keep watching. Okay, so first I put some gloves on because this hair had a particularly strong odor to it. And I have no idea why, so I want to protect my hands. I'm going to start off with the frontal. It's a 360 degree frontal. I'm going to be using my Argon Oil of Morocco Shampoo, which is organic. And I'll also be using my Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Complete Conditioning Co-Wash. I don't generally use regular shampoo. I just use the co-wash on my bundles. But because of the strong odor, I'm using regular shampoo as well. I'm using lukewarm water to wash the hair. I'll just wet it thoroughly and then use about a tablespoon of the shampoo. Now run the shampoo down the shaft of the hair. If you notice, I keep smelling the hair because I had never experienced anything like the odor that was on this hair. I heard people talk about uh, the hair smelling like corn chips, but nothing like this. Now I'm going to rub my shampoo really good into the cap because this frontal came with a full cap. I want to make sure I get it clean before I put it on my head. And in the past, I've heard people, or I, I think I read, that some people have gotten hair with bugs in it or spiders, and we don't want anything like that. So I'm just rinsing the shampoo off thoroughly down in the water inside of my bucket. Now I'm going to run the water over the hair to get the rest of the shampoo out. You want to make sure you rinse it thoroughly so you have no residue on your hair. Now I'm going to use the Cantu co-conditioner, co-wash conditioner. And I have about a tablespoon of that. Make sure you get that conditioner in thoroughly so your hair won't feel like it's dried out. my best not to manipulate the hair too much because I don't want to lose the natural curl pattern in it. So I'm just putting it down in the tub right now so I can get most of the conditioner off. And then I'll run it under the water again. unfortunate that I had to experience such a strong odor on my first video of doing an unboxing for a hair weft. So 
So squeeze it out gently and you could kind of uh, put it up in a bowl to squeeze it out so that you won't lose the nether pearl batter. Now I'm going to put it on a hanger that you use for your pants and just hang it over the shower or you can hang it on the cabinet over your kitchen sink. Well, over the cabinet and hang it on the little leg because it is going to be dripping. Now I'm going to do the bundles and I generally do the bundles with the band still around it, but when doing the video of the unboxing, I did take the band off so I could see how wide the wefts were. With this here, I wanted to open up the bundles a little anyway to wash it, to make sure I'm washing it thoroughly and making sure I'm getting all of that odor out of it. And you want to make sure you wash really good at the top where you sew the west on. wash off. I have a feeling I'm going to have to wash it again. Here I'm just making sure I get all the conditioner out and squeezing it out gently once again. Just going to use this hanger and clip the hair onto it. I did have to wash it again, and I'm using my regular conditioner on it because the co wash is kind of pricey. So I'm just going to save that for when I have regular bundles, not when there's an, a smell problem. Actually, this hair smells like fish. I said it smelled like something from the ocean, and it had a really strong fish smell. And it wasn't good fish that you eat either. So I'm just saturating the hair with the conditioner, making sure it goes all through the bundle. Making sure I get every strand. And now I'm rinsing it. As I said, I generally wash the hair with the band still on it, but I'm going to have to open these bundles up to make sure I really get in there. That's the third bundle. Well, the second bundle. I have two bundles and a frontal. The frontal is pretty full. So that's why I was uh, able to get the bundle deal with the two bundles and the frontal. So I said, you can make sure you put your hair down into the tub to make sure you have all the shampoo off of it. So there'll be no residue left on it. Okay. 
And at the end of this video, I'll list everything down in the description box. The type of shampoo, the type of hair, and also I'll put a link for my unboxing video. actually very pretty and the curl pattern is very pretty it was soft and shiny so I'm gently making sure I'm getting all of the water out and I'm just going to hang this on a pan hanger okay so You'll see my next video will be when the wig is made and I'll let you know how it worked out with the older. So make sure you come back and watch it and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video. Bye bye.